much for your purchase. Today we're going to learn how to customize our garlands onto Canva. So the first thing you're going to do is download the PDF file that comes with your purchase and it will give you something that looks like this. So I always request uh, for you to open your files on the computer, but it does also work on Canva mobile version or tablet version. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start this tutorial. So first things first, you're going to open your garlands on Canva. So you're going to click right here and we're going to use template. So we're going to start with this here. You're going to see there's a few different types of garlands. Um, I will be adding some new ones. So this here might look a little bit different. If you click right here, you're able to see all of them with a little uh, circle arch and two Kiara arches and then the two little bears that I did. So if ever you need something similar, they're already there. You can already use it as a little extra. But we're going to go ahead and use these here for our example. You're going to go back on the PDF file and you're going to click on Get Balloons. That's going to open this file uh, here full of uh, smaller files, I would say, uh, with different types of balloons. So these are the Mylar letters in gold, rose gold and silver. Um, in Chrome, you have garland balloons that don't have knots, but you can also use the ones with knots uh, to your garland. It's just that you will have to work it uh, a little bit more. Uh, for this one, we're going to go and uh, download. Well, you can either download the whole thing at once. So you're going to go up here and click download. So it's going to go and download all of these onto your computer. Or if you know exactly which type of balloons you need for your project, you can go ahead and simply download the ones that you need um, in case you don't have a lot of storage in your phone or your tablet. Uh, I recommend going um, depending on your projects. So we're going to go to Pearl Balloons right here. We're going to double click and we're going to click download. So as you can see, it's preparing the download. All right, so now we're going to click right here, or you can also go on your download uh, file, click on there and open the zip file. Me personally, I like clicking right here. It will unzip it for you. You're going to double click and you're going to see all of your balloons right there. So we're going to go back to Canva. We're going to select all of these balloons here because I know I'm going to be using a few of these colors. We're going to select them all and we're going to drag them to this side panel right here. So they're uploading right now. And we can go ahead and use the ones that are already uploaded down at the bottom here. We're going to be using the small one uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. So we have this one right here. Let's say we want to use this color. We're going to click on it and we're going to drag it up to the balloon and the garland that we need. Okay, now we're going to do with another color. And another one here. You can simply click, drag and drop click, drag and drop, click, drag and drop, click, drag and drop. Okay, we can change the color of the one that's already there, but I'm going to leave it as this. All right. Okay, we're going to change that one too. Okay, here. If you see that it's a bit hard to get to a certain balloon, like I'm having a hard time with this one here, you can zoom in, okay, until you see you have access to it. Okay. Oh, there, got it. And something that you can also do, I'm going to zoom out, you can click on it and you can ungroup. So in case you want to make a certain balloon bigger or you know, change the shape of your garland. That is also something you can do, but I recommend you uh, leaving them grouped 
at all times uh, so you can easily uh, copy and paste them. Okay, so we're going to group it back. Now, say you're working on a project, you can double click on it, you're going to copy it, then you're going to go on the project you're working. So say you have a project already started, you go back to home, you already copied it, and then you're going to double click on your other project and you're going to go paste. So it's going to make an exact copy of your garland. So I hope this tutorial helps. Please don't hesitate if you have a question, if there's anything um, that you can see that I can improve in my products and I'll make sure I do it. I already added a bunch of extra balloons in the, in the bundle. So if ever you guys need chrome balloons or letters and numbers that you would like to add uh, to your garlands, you do have that. And I'm wishing you guys a lot of success and I cannot wait to see your magic. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.